Hello everyone, my name is Arturo, and I was at the head of the creative club called Donors United. Now we begin the epilogue, looking into what happens after I am out of the picture. So let's get you all cut up to date here. When last we checked in, we had just reached the end of the 19 or the 2019-2020 season. Let's see how that season ended, shall we? Head over to ye old Donors United. He's back up there. There we go. So as you can see, when we last checked off, this is where we were, 1990, 1920. I left the donors having only just barely gotten them out of that relegation fight, but how did they do in that first year after me? Oh, would you look at that? I leave and they finish sixth. 50 points, a marked improvement, a 15-point improvement, no less, over the previous season. Inverness CT actually winning the league and going on up to the premiership. Nobody winning the playoff, though. Ayer and Airdrie going right back down from whence they came. Still pretty good, though. Uh, the donors ended up with 14, 8, and 14. 39 scored, 37 conceded, so they ended up plus 2 overall. It's a pretty good job by the donors. Well done. So how did the donors actually do? What did they do uh, transfer-wise here? Let's go to their transfer history for the 19, uh, 2021 season. So in the previous season, we, as you may recall, we sent Talls on loan, sent Eric Kuj on loan, sent Rich to UK. Oh, we didn't send him. He was signed away. Breakout was on the way, and Matthew Shevlin was sent up to Philly, and we made a few moves of our own. In the year since, Callum McFadzian was brought in from Berwick as a, it used to be a winger option, so the coach already changing formations for the donors, figure that one out. James Wallace and Liam Lamont brought in from our parent club, Andrew McCarthy brought in on a free, Robbie Buchanan from Ross County for 35000 Looks like the AI is spending that NG money quite, uh, quite significantly. Uh, Kai Wilson from Four Far. Uh, Ryan Williamson from Livingston, Calvin Coughlin from Forfar, Peter Ellis from St. Johnstone, Jimmy McCall from Hibernian, Lewis Milne from back from Partick Thistle. Ah, uh, Lewis Milne returns for 39000 Uh, What was his, uh, we sent him away for ninety. so that's a great bit of business for us. Sell him, buy him back for cheaper, and still get some production out of him. Pretty good. Uh, looks like they got 11 appearances out of him with two goals, 0 0.72 average. Not as good as his banner year with the donors, where he was 7.37, but... Still uh, making profit. Gotta love it. You know, on the out end, Ulstumer and Dawson gone on a free. We knew that. Aaron and Buddy Holloway gone on a free. We knew that. Jorge Mendoza the second went out on loan to Clyde. Talls was sold to Fulham for 205000 It's definitely undervalued considering what we sold uh, NG and NG Wolfgamer for. Lawrence Capel to Kilmarnock on loan. John Church beneath Spive on loan. Jamal Wood. Someone actually bought Jamal Wood for 7.75. Matt Preston to Northampton. Wow, that's a big trade up there for our Matt. That person, well done. Josh Vickers off to Birmingham for 62000 That goalkeeper move was pretty good then. Because, uh, yeah, the donors got him on a free from Newport. And he now moves up to League One after playing the championships. So good for him. Looks like he had a great season, too, in 2021. 7.10 average. Uh, 22 allowed in 24. Less than a goal per game with 10 is that clean sheets. Shutouts. There we go. You bet. Well, well done there, Mr. Josh Vickers. You've done well. But you aren't a donor, though. Braycon was sold to Stoke for 350000 That's a fantastic deal for Bray. Well done. James Demetrio goes to AEL for 36000 That's a nice bit of business there. And John Churchman on loan to Bradford, PA. Well, let's just see where the donors are right now. I do have it set up so that I still have a shortlist called Donors. We can see where all the donors are at this exact moment until they all retire. Looks like Snorlax is still with the donors. Our birdie is unattached and wanted by four clubs. You see, the AI got rid of him. Uh, Jorge Mendoza still with Murcia Lagos. Vili was, looks like he was let go on a free from the donors. Oh, that's unfortunate. Jamie Jay's with the donors. Ashley Grattan's with the donors. After all that noise about him leaving. He's still with them. Go figure. Sinsmaster's still with the donors. We know Jamal Wood's gone. John Churchman's unattached. That's sad. Uh, Flag Dude, Flag Dude moved. Oh my goodness me. Flag Dude moved to Jagiellonia from York in the Extraxa. What the? The Extraclasa. Where the heck is this? It appears to be, uh, Poland. So, uh, he moved to the Premier League in Poland on a team that finished fourth, uh, sixth, excuse me, and he is not even the starting left back. Figure that one out if you can. Take a look at his history here. 925,000, so York made fantastic business on that. Picking up on a free, getting two incredible seasons out of him. 
I mean, Fly Dude absolutely owned York and then moves to Poland for a very significant fee. York's got to love that. Are they still in League 2? They are still 24th. Well, hardly surprising, although they, yeah, they did improve to 17th. Pretty good on the back of uh, our dear friend Flag Dude. He was well done for him. We'll see how he does in Poland. Interesting stop there. More Flag Dude. Let's get back to the... Uh, there we go. Uh, Drake Riot still with West Ham. NG Wolfgame with Everton. Mark Daly still with Man United. Breakdown with Stoke. Rich to UK. Liverpool. Don't have those in the second. Still with the donors. And Tall's with Fulham. As it always is and ever was. We're missing one person though here, aren't we? Yes, we are. We're missing... His ng -ness, the NG himself. Oh, all right. Uh, it was Nathan Gray, I think we called him. Uh, there he is, NG. Add Dak to the shortlist of the donors indefinitely. Bristol City! Earning 20000 a week with Bristol City. Oh my goodness. What on earth happened here? Well, we know he came into the donors. Again, we sold him to Man United for three million. They never really played him, did they? They really didn't. And after that loan spell, he was moved for five hundred grand to Bristol. So bad business for Man United. We really took them to the cleaners, didn't we? And spent in thirty appearances with Bristol City, who I will remind you are currently in the championship. Uh, one goal, three assists, and a player of the match award for a 6.73 average. So finally, NG getting regular minutes at a higher tier of soccer. I hope he would have done a little bit better than that, though. Bristol City, uh, we're f still in the championship. Where were they last year? Uh, 14th. So a mid-table championship team. Hopefully, NG can pull them up by their bootstraps. One thing I do want to see here, as you know, it is, uh, the 20, or the Olympics, I should say have already happened, so I'm going to see who won the Olympics while we're at it. I'm curious to see what happens in the Olympic Games when I'm not there. Uh, defending champions are France. France defeats Argentina on penalties. Oh my goodness. Good run there. Portugal getting the bronze over Germany. That's going to hurt over hosts Japan. Who's in the quarters? Uh, Ivory Coast, Morocco, Italy, and Saudi Arabia bounced in the quarters. So there you go. That appears to be the 2020-2021 season. Let's sim ahead another full year. and Let's see what happens in 2021-2022, shall we? Right, here we are, 2021-2022 in the books. You know what, I simmed the proper date this time so we don't erase all the stats for the prior season. So, first things first, how did Donors United fare? Ah, oh, sixth. They finished sixth in the championship this year. Uh, let's go to the actual table here. There we go. Dundee looks like it won the league. Berwick in second. Wow. Good job, Berwick. Ross County, but they didn't get uh, promoted to the premiership, though. Sad. Uh, Ross County, Dunfermline, Falkirk, The Donors, Livingston, Queen of the South, Partick, Thistle, and Wraith go down to League One. Let's have the Donors themselves do here. Top goal scorer. Looks like it's uh, shared between... Louis Mill, Mill and Tomislav Kies, who was, as you, as you may recall, brought in as the heir apparent to none other than Ashley Grattan, and he's uh, done his job. 11 goals, 3 assists, 7 assists from Mill, and great that they got him back. Uh, let's see here, 5 goals and 9 assists from Stinsmaster. Stinsmaster still rocking at 7.08. Uh, Paul McGinn, actually, top rating 7.13 in 14 appearances. I assume he's on loan from Hamilton. That's what I'm assuming, anyway. Uh, yes, from the parent club, that makes sense. Other good appearances, looks like Andrew McCarthy, Flat7, Lewis McClear, and Lewis Martin up there as well. Lewis Martin, the workhorse, 37 appearances on defense. Jamie J, 38 appearances. Uh, how did you do overall? Uh, Could have done better this season. Could have done better, all things considered. Did well in the Cups, though, so that's something. How did the donors do uh, this year with the actual competitions, uh, senior squad? Uh, then I've done the second round of the League Cup, fifth round of the Scottish Cup, third round of the Challenge Cup. All right, so fifth round. Where is that? Oh, it's right before the quarters. Darn. And knocked out by Dumbarton, 2-1. Oh, it's embarrassing. Lower League Club, horrible. All right, so let's see how the donors themselves actually did here. Actually, you know, well, we got to ch check the transfers first. We got to check the transfers first. First things first, check those transfers. All right, transfer history. Oh, my goodness. 
<laughs> oh, it appears we've been a purge here. Oh my goodness. Charsley, Tamori, Richardson, Hawkette, Walsh, Arberti, that's a donor. Churchman, a donor. Willy Bonin, a donor. All that go on freeze at the end of last season. Oh my goodness. It's a, it's a purge and a half there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Joe Chalmers went to Berwick on a free? What? How did that happen? Uh, only made 16 appearances, too. 6.65. I mean, I kind of think you should have stayed with the donors, Joe. Although he's making 6000 a week. Yeah, I think we know why he went to Berwick. Mm -hmm, money. Money talks. No Chalmers. Uh, Jimmy Connolly out on loan. Ashley Gratton sold to Fleetwood. Oh, 41000 That's a pittance. Fleetwood robbed us. Callum McFadzian... 18,000 Wraith, don't know him. Moose Toshi goes to Falkirk for 10,000. That makes sense. It's about what he's worth. Making less money, though, at Falkirk. Uh, how many princes did he get? Not many. And Mark Milne to Rangers for 56,000. Really? That's actually surprising. They sold a, a youngster for 56,000. That's pretty good, actually. Good for the donors. All right. So, elsewhere in the short list, let's have a look here. Anything else? Because where all these donors got cut? Where did they go? So our birdie is with Adelaide City now. Well, that's good for him. Snorlax still with the donors. Jorge Mendoza with Mercia Lagos. And I will admit, I peaked a little bit on this one. Mercia Lagos. If we go to the... Uh, uh, what is it here? The Promotion League. And we go to the... Oh, that's not it. Promotion Playoff. Mercia Lagos wins over Lobos BOAP Mercia Lagos, backed by the wonderful Jorge Mendoza. 7.42 average, 50 appearances, why not? Are going up to the top level of Mexico. They're going to Liga MX. There you go. Well done. Mendoza just absolutely crushing it. Absolutely amazing. Yep, promoted via playoffs. That's how you do it. They won the opening promotion league opening stage. There you go. 7.47. I mean, how can you not like this guy? He does everything that's asked from any Canadian. So there you go, eight caps. Uh, I do want to go back to something that we saw there uh, in the short list. Uh, Vili Bonin retiring. He got picked up by Yippo, so I mean, that's something. Second in the Finnish Division East, so that's also... I mean, second tier Finnish side, I mean. Not exactly great, but still. Uh, retiring, though. Uh, partially retiring from professional soccer on November 30th of next year. Wow. So it looks like Vili might be the first donor to retire. Uh, elsewhere, how did Ashley Gratton do once he moved to Fleetwood? Uh, 10 goals and 27 appearances, 6.78 average. Fleetwood are in League 1. Looks like they didn't get promoted. You know, they finished 5th, though. That would have been in the playoff places. So that's all right. Let's we'll see how Ashley does it. See if he can climb even higher. Our legendary goal scorer, Ashley Gratton. Uh, elsewhere stands Jamal Wood and John Churchman. Both ended up at East Fife. What is that? The dumping ground for ex-players here? Churchman. Yep, he's good to go to 2023. Good for him. Average season. Jamal Wood is out of contract. <laughs> he is out of contract after 13 appearances in which he was absolutely horrible. Well, that's Jamal Wood for you. I told you, Jamal Wood's the worst. Uh, what else we got here? Flag dude still doing his thing out in Poland. How did his squad do? Fifth in the championship group. Just outside the European places. That's going to hurt. And flag dude himself, 7.45. You kidding me? In 33 appearances, 8 assists. Wow. Is he actually, is he getting minutes with the national team? Because he should be. He's not. But he should be. NG is not getting time there either. That's a shame. Uh, anything else of note here? NG over in Bristol City now. I think we knew that, though. We knew that? Yeah, we knew that. Uh, Drake, NG, Mark Daly, Bray Convert, Stoke. We knew that. Rich TK, Jorge Mendoza, and like, Talls is on loan to Wrexham after going to Fulham. All right, how you been doing, Talls? Eight appearances, not so good. All right, well, room to grow, to be sure, for the donors and the team itself. All right, now, if you'll notice, uh, it's 22, which means we've got a World Cup coming up in the summer. I'll be interested to see how that shakes out. Why don't we sim ahead, and we'll go see what's happening over in ye old World Cup land. And here we are, the result of the 2022 World Cup. As we look at the 2022-2023 season, our third simulated season of the Donors United epilogue. 
And we look at the group stage. Let's see, we got here Costa Rica and Switzerland top their group with six and five points. China and Chile left out in the cold there. Germany, Senegal. It's a Senegal sensation over Austria and Saudi Arabia. Brazil and Italy, oh my goodness, over Tunisia and the States who got blanked. No goals scored. Seven can see that is, oh my goodness, what the heck happened? Uh, can I see the results from Group C, please? Uh, no, I guess it didn't save them. Let's see, but my god, you wouldn't think that this is the kind, like, that, that lineup does not look bad. At all. Oh my goodness. All right, well, shocking results for the Yanks, but we move on. Colombia and Belgium top their group. Oh, but only on goal differential over Denmark? Japan, the Blue Samurai blanked. Another shocker. Poor Denmark left out in the cold there on goal differential. Not even that, but on goals scored. Oh, poor Denmark. Oh, poor, poor Denmark. Uh, Sweden, South Korea getting in over Cote d'Ivoire. And, oh, England. Even in FM, England can't catch a break. That's a shame. Spain and Holland over Nigeria and Canada. Oh, Canada not only made the World Cup, but they got absolutely slaughtered. Three losses again to Spain, Holland, and Nigeria. Rough group. To be fair, that's a rough group. But they scored a goal! Yes! One goal has been scored! They did better than they did in 86. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, Mexico and Wales. Wow! Wales beats Argentina! That's amazing! And Portugal and France over Iran and Uruguay. That's uh, unfortunate for Uruguay, but uh, not really a shocker there. That those two teams get out. So we move to the second round, round of 16. It's Costa Rica over Senegal, Switzerland over Germany. Oh my. Brazil needs extra time to get past Belgium, Italy over Colombia, Holland over Sweden, Spain needs extra time to get past South Korea. Wow, good fight there. France over Mexico and Wales over Portugal. Into the quarters. Italy over Costa Rica, 4-1. Goodbye, Ticos. Brazil, extra time again needed to get past Switzerland. Holland, extra time to get past Wales. And France over Spain. Which means in this third place, oh, sorry, in the semis, it is Italy over France and Brazil over Holland. Or just squeaker there, but Brazil getting some revenge. In the third place playoff, Holland gets third place over France, 3-2. And in Beijing, China, Guangzhou actually is where the finals held. Italy tops Brazil 1-0. Your defending hosts are Italy. You're defending Chester, Italy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Canada is hosting the 2026 World Cup? Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. So Canada will guaranteed qualify for their second World Cup in a row. Let's see if they can do better than zero points. Oh, looks like Stinsmaster is still in the hunt, though. He's a bench option. That's not too shabby now, is it? Way to go, Stins. All right, well, that's the state of the World Cup. It is 2022, 2023. It's the end of the season. Let's see how the donors did. Seventh. Ooh, that's a step back for the donors. Looks like Dundee uh, gets their uh, promotion to the Premiership. By which I mean, they deny Ross County chance to go up. All right, so Livingston wins it. They go up. Berwick, Kilmarnock, and Ross County had playoff spots. They do not go up. Down from line, Falkirk, the donors, 42 points. That's a regression from last season, which again, uh, 50 points, sixth place. Now they finish with 42 points in seventh. Not good. Pardic Thistle stays up. Queen of the South and Airdrie go down. That's going to hurt. Looking at the donors themselves, how do we do here? 13 goals from midfield for Lewis Milne. What a great pickup. He was 6.8, but it's Stinsmaster, 7.17, the best player on the team, and why wouldn't he be? Truly, his legend grows. 43 appearances across all competitions, 44 off the bench. Tops on the team, 4 goals, 9 assists. It's all the Stinsmaster show all the time. Great job, Stins. Uh, 11 goals from Ross Miller from the left wing. The donors have changed formations here. And Tomislav Kish, uh, 6.61, 3 goals and 37 appearances. Ugh. That's what you call not good, folks. Let's look at the tactics here for the donors. So they're playing a 4-2-3-1, a high-lying 4-2-3-1. Stins in an attacking role, it looks like. Mill perhaps deep-lying? Regardless, that's not a good look for the donors. And Snorlax... Is back to the bench. In fact, not just to the bench. Let's take a look here quickly at the donors. Uh, let's look at their history. Uh, Scottish League Challenge Cup. That's new. Did They seriously didn't. 
Oh my goodness, the donors won the Challenge Cup over Livingston, who won the league. I'll remind you, 1-0. Oh my goodness. Well done, donors. Get a little bit of, heart of silverware. Very nicely done. Uh, balanced in the Scottish Cup. Fifth round by Alo. Oh, that's embarrassing. That's definitely very embarrassing in the Scottish Cup. And there should be one other cup. Uh, it's the League Cup. Bounced in the second round by Livingston. Well, that's a shame. That's quite a shame. Anyway, look at the transfer history for the donors. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Liam Gordon on a free. Nathan Flanagan on a free. Loans free. So really uh, going with the budget transfers here. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Or, uh, jumps out at you. Going the other way, David Carmichael, Calvin Colquhoun, D James Penris, Eric... Eric Kujo was let go on a free? I guess he couldn't get that uh, that work permit after all. And he's still out on a free. Oh my goodness, this kid is a prodigy. Look at this. 34 appearances, 7.09 of the Carolina Railhawks. How is he... Like, how is he not being snapped up by a team? He's fantastic. Jorge does the second let go on a free, but he's picked up by Airdrie. Oh, well, uh, that's unfortunate. And Gordon Marshall let go on a free, picked up by Alawa. Sean Rutherford let go on a free, now to air. Robbie Buchanan on a free to Ross County. Roney sold to kill Marnock for 48000 Well, he was a good pickup for us, wasn't he? Uh, Jamie Conley to Falkirk for 3.5, and Kai Wilson to Wraith on a free. All right, so the donors, uh, they shed a few people here. Now, I do have a note. I did peek out one thing very important here. I wanted to look at how Ashley Gratton was doing. And I'll skip right ahead to that, because this just wowed me. Ashley Gratton is currently with Millwall. Valued at 500000 That's right. He was sold by Fleetwood. Great bit of business. 275000 after buying him from the donors for 41000 Uh, 10 goals and 27 appearances. 6.78. So, decent sell-up. One goal. One goal in 26 appearances. 6.52 average for Ashley Gratton. That is horrifying. In fact, he scored a goal on April 22nd after 30-plus games scoreless with Millwall. That is horrifyingly bad for Ashley Gratton. He's listed and loaned again. All 29 of his appearances, by the way, were off the bench, making 20000 a week. Ooh, Millwall will be regretting that. Not only that, uh, Millwall... I do believe 23rd means they are going down. Oh my, yes. Handily going down uh, to League One. So sorry, Ashley Gratton. So sorry, not sorry. Oh, poor Ashley Gratton. He finally gets his big move up to where he thinks he should be, and he crashes and burns dramatically. Like, there's crashing and burning, and then there's whatever the heck that was. Whew. Oh my goodness. All right. So... Let's take a look elsewhere at the donors here. No one's out of club, which is good. Snorlax. Oh, Snorlax is finally going to retire. Oh, Snorlax. Well, he will be sorely missed. Sorely. Sorely missed the Ukrainian Scott who did everything and then some for the donors. A stalwart for the donors all the way through. Only 13 appearances, though, in what was his final year. Uh, he scored four goals and four assists in the previous season, though. That's not so bad. Uh, but yeah, that'll be the end of the line for Snorlax. So sad. He and Vili will be the first to retire. Vili's still, uh, rocking with Jippo, though. Our birdie, hey, he's still rocking with Adelaide City. A real late career renaissance for our birdie. In fact, he's wanted by Montrose back in Scotland. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, our birdie. Uh, yeah. 34 appearances, 7.16, 15 since 4 play of the match. Our birdie! He's had a late career renaissance. Did pretty well with Avondale, too, on loan. Look at that. Good for you, our birdie. He struggled mightily with the donors, but he turned around the Adelaide City. Good for you, our birdie. Jorge Mendoza with Marcia Lagos, who got promoted last season. Oh, 17th? Oh. Um. Oh, no. They get promoted, and it's right back down. Down for Mercia Lagos. Oh, 15 points in the closing stage. Uh, first division. Uh, opening stage. Oh, dead last. Oh, that's so sad. Well, Medica uh, won the opening stage, so there you go. There's that. Oh, that's so horrible. Sorry, Jorge Mendoza. 
That's unfortunate. How did he do, though? Um, he, uh, 6.98 average, played 36 experiences, got an assist across all competitions. His contract is up this year, though. Uh, yeah, his contract's up. They, surely they have to resign him. He's a legend. He's fantastic. They wouldn't seriously drop him, would they? I mean, his history speaks for itself. I mean, in league play, 7.14 average, 24 appearances. I mean, this, he's just fantastic. He was a rock for the donors, became even better. Going on a free Demarcia Lago is a move I will forever, forever regret. Surely they wouldn't just drop him like a hot potato. And we'll see, though. All right, let's go back to the donor shortlist here. Anything else? Oh, Jamal Wood has moved to Elgin City. Uh, East Fife, after buying him from the donors, let him go on a free. Where 27 appearances for Elgin City. Two goals. He scored two goals, the first two goals of his career. 6.3 average, and Elgin City finished 6th in League 2. They're not going anywhere. Well, that's about right, isn't it? Jamal Wood. Doing Jamal Wood things, by which I mean being horrible. Oh, Jamal Wood. You truly are horrible. What else we got going on here? Uh, John Churchman still with East Fife. How's he doing? 29 appearances, 2 goals, and assists, 6.38. Oh, Churchy's really... Not developing. He's not showing that uh, that potential that we thought he would. But, I mean, East Fife did move up to League One, so there's that. Uh, are they still in League One? Uh, no, they're relegated right back down. Oh, poor East Fife. That's a shame. Uh, Fly dudes still with Jagiellonia, who are eighth, so they are not getting relegated. Good for them. Uh, injured. Ooh, broken arm. Ooh, ugly for Flag dude. Angie with Bristol City. They're still rocking it. 10th in the Premier Division, so they're not going down anytime soon. NG himself, 2 goals, 4, 6, 6 point in average, making 54,000 a week! Whoa, NG! And why were you not playing for the American National Team exactly? Ugh, who knows? Wow! Go NG! Drake Riot with West Ham, 19 million! Oh my goodness, Drake Riot! Uh, yeah, 22 appearances, this is his breakout year, a goal, 3 assists, 6.96 average. Following up on his uh, real showing in the Premier Division, where 10 appearances, 3 goals, 2 assists, and 1 player of the match, where for 7.24 average, Drake Riot is starting to make his name known for West Ham. Well done. And he did manage to get an international call-up, 6.10. Uh, not his best, but he did get an assist and a yellow and a red. So, good job, Drake Riot. Your international career, hilarious. NG Wolf Gamer, though, is wanted by Huddersfield... He's now with Middlesbrough. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at this here. Uh, sold by Everton for 215000 after we sold it to Everton for 3.3 mil. That's not good. But he never cracked the first team, did he? No, he did not. Some loan appearances down in League One. Moved to the Championship, though. 30 appearances and an assist. I'm sure Middlesbrough is happy with that. 19th. Um, okay, they're just barely above water. So he'll get a season in the championship. Not bad for NG Wolf Gamer, the second NG Avatar. Uh, Mark Daly has moved to the Graf Shop. He's going to the Eredivisie for 230000 after Man United and bought him for 2 mil. He had 13 appearances on loan for Bradford City. Eh. He never once at all cracked the line for anything other than a sub appearance in a cup competition. Went out to AFC Wimbledon, 17 appearances for 6.7. That goal and a player of the match award 6.9 in his 14 appearances for the Eredivisie. Side to Grafschap, who finished 13th. And that will keep them above water. A lucky them, but still a lower mid-table team. Well, at least you're getting some playing time, Mark Daly. Good for you. Break on injured with Stoke, 2-5 to five weeks. Knee tendonitis, that's not good. Uh, how did he do, Braycon? Um, is he down with the U21s? Yes, he is. A goal, five assists, 6.55 average. Not horrible. Rich to UK, still with Liverpool. Still valued very highly. Plenty of Welsh youth caps. Has not cracked the first team, though. Uh, plenty of, he has done plenty of non-competitive stuff, though, 19 appearances non-competitive, 6.96 average, so at least Liverpool realize they have something good on their hands here. 
Jorge Mendoza the second. We know he moved to Airdrie, who are going right back down. Um, Playing in a central defensive role? Okay, 20 appearances, 6.7 average. Being played out of position. That's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, and Tolls with Fulham. Uh, how did he do? Tolls did not play, it looks like, with the senior squad. Did some stuff with the uh, U21s. Oh, not, not a full one. It's Tolls I'm interested in here. Tolls. Tolls. There he is. Uh, looks like he went on loan in Notsco and Wrexham. Didn't do anything with the big club. Uh, did get a cup appearance, though, in 2021-22. And 14 non-competitive appearances. So well, at least Fulham know they got something on their hands here. See if he can get a good breakout next year. Uh, Jorge Mendoza the second here. Wow. So he didn't do that well in his final season with the donors. He got a trial with Elgin City, which he killed. Apparently he didn't sign. Got a trial with Peterhead, which he did pretty well with. Didn't sign. Went over to Airdrie of the Championship and goes right back down to League One. How did Peterhead do? Because he's going right back to where he could have been. Uh, fifth. Okay. So they got a shot to move up. I think I shall try and crack their way into the playoffs. We'll see how that goes. Cowdenbeath will be moving up for Jorge Mendoza the second. And that is where we are. That's the state of the donors. So we've got two pending retirees, Snorlax and Vili. The donors are still in the championship. Canada's hosting the next World Cup. Next time on Donors United, we're going to sim another three seasons. So we're going to do 23-24, 24-25, and 25-26. That should get us to just before the 2026 World Cup. We'll see how many donors are still in the game and where everybody else is. My name is Drill. Thank you for watching this epilogue to Donors United. We'll see you in episode 32.